Pet owners living near City Park in New Iberia tell us they are fearing for their animals. Earlier this week, a cat was found shot to death on Everett Street. The pet owner says his cat was not the first victim. Our Katie Easter joins us from City Park. And Katie, what are neighbors telling you? I spoke with the pet owner, Daniel Wolf. He says the last time he saw his three-year-old cat alive and well was on Sunday. We thought he was sleeping under the house right there. We thought he was taking another nap. I didn't want to disturb him. Turns out he wasn't sleeping. Daniel Wolf found three-year-old Tux with a bullet wound in his side on Monday. You don't do that to, to pets and stuff. That's, that's just, there was no reason, no excuse, no absolutely no reason why I should do that. It isn't the first time Tux was shot at. One month ago, Wolf says the feline came home injured. We found a, found a BB hole directly in the back of his, his head when he came to eat. Wolf then found out Tux is not the first animal to be shot and killed in his neighborhood. One woman who lived a street over from Wolf says it has happened too many times. This dates back seven, eight years. I couldn't even give you an accurate number off the top of my head, quite a few. We find animals all the time, cats all over that are, that are shot. They, and it's all metal bullets. It's all the same bullet. So there's one, there's specifically there's a person in this neighborhood that is doing this. Animal rescuer Brittany Perez says she is offering a reward for anyone who has video evidence of what is happening. Someone has a camera, someone sees, someone knows and we need to put a stop to this. We need to start showing that if we stand up together as a community, then you know we can get these laws enforced and we can move forward because many people, they're suffering. Our kids are grown, they're gone, and these are, our, these are our babies. I reached out to the New Iberia Police Department. A spokesperson says they do not have an open investigation at this time, but it is something they will be looking into. In New Iberia, Katie Easter, KTC TV3. Now the neighbors say they're relying on help from police, but some say they feel like these crimes are not given enough attention. You may remember cruelty to animals is a federal crime as of late 2019. The penalty can include a fine and up to seven years in prison. We'll be following this case and bring you any updates if charges are filed.